What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and I run the Black Heights channel where we talk about information technology, careers, and advancements, and how you can get to the bag following a path of information technology. I like to talk about management information systems as well. And in this video today, guys, I'm going to talk about how management information systems impacts the health care environment. So basically what you're going to learn in this video today, guys, is this. You're going to learn about health information systems. And health information systems is basically systems that are used in the healthcare industry. So some of the things that I'm going to talk about are the benefits of health information systems, best practices of health information systems, and how you can protect health information with data protection. So things like HIPAA, things like um, you know data protection one-on-one. -on -one. So that's what you're gonna learn in this video today, guys. So health information systems basically refers to a system that is, you know, designed to manage healthcare data. And what I mean by that, if you think about going to a hospital, anytime you go to a hospital, there's a lot of information that's shared to the healthcare provider. So health information systems includes things like collecting, storing, managing, transmitting a patient's electronic medical records. They call that EMR, a hospital's operational management or a system supporting healthcare policy decisions. And health information systems also include those systems that um that handle data related to activities of the provider and the health organization. So there's an integrated effort that's been going on in the healthcare organization with EMRs. And what their integrated effort is doing is is really trying to leverage uh, integration to improve patient outcomes, to inform research, and to influence policy making and decision making. And because health information systems commonly access and process or maintain large volumes of sensitive data, security is a primary concern. So I also want to leave you guys with what HIT is. A lot of you guys think HIT is high intensity training, but there's another acronym for HIT, which is health information technology. And basically what that is, is it involves the development of health information systems. Now let's talk about some examples of health information systems. So health information systems can be used by everyone in the healthcare from patients to clinicians to public health officials, and they collect data and compile it in a way that can be used to make healthcare decisions. And some examples of healthcare systems are things like electronic medical records and electronic health records. Electronic medical records, the acronym is EMR, and electronic health records, the acronym is EHR. The electronic medical records replaces the paper version because at one point in time, all of these records were in paper. They were on sheets of paper, sticky notes and things like that. And it's replacing the patient's medical history with electronic data that can be integrated in systems. And the electronic records or the electronic versions of this, of the patient's medical history, includes more healthcare data, more test results, and treatments. And these systems are designed to share data with other electronic health records so other providers can access patients' healthcare data as well. So if you think about it, if you went to a hospital here in Austin and you needed to have a follow-up treatment in some place in Dallas or Houston, you want those systems to talk to each other because you know you may have to go get stitches one day and the next day you may have to go get some other sort of treatment on something completely different. But the records need to talk to each other so that when doctors prescribe you a certain kind of medicine that they don't you know cause any negative impacts and things like that another example is practice management software which is a health information systems and i typically like to say it's a management information systems right but it's used in the healthcare right and practice meta or practice management software basically helps 
uh, uh, healthcare providers to manage daily operations such as scheduling and billing of healthcare providers from small practices to large hospitals. And they use practice management systems to automate many of the administrative tasks. Another example is a patient portal, and many of you guys have used it before. You go in and get your yearly checkup, and next thing you know, you get this email that says you can access your results in a patient portal. And basically, patient portals allow patients to access their personal health data, such as appointment information, medication, lab results, over the internet connection. And some patient portals allow active communication with the physician, the prescription refill requests, and the ability to schedule other appointments. So those are some examples of EMRs or health information systems that uh, hopefully you guys could have a better understanding of. But now I wanna talk about some of the benefits of health information systems. You think about it, right? Health information systems tends to target efficiency and data management. And the main drivers of health information systems are things like data analytics. The healthcare industry constantly produces data and health information systems help to gather, to compile, and to analyze health data to help manage population health and to reduce healthcare costs. And then the Healthcare data analysis can improve the overall patient care. And then there is collaborative care, which is when a patient who needs treatment from different healthcare providers, healthcare information systems such as Health Information Exchange, HEIs, allow for healthcare facilities to access common healthcare records. So, you know, they are able to talk to each other and to get access to your medical records if you are going to different treatments or if, if you need different treatments. Another benefit is cost control as well too, which if you're using digital networks to exchange healthcare data, this should create efficiencies and help with costs, right? So when regional markets use health information exchanges to share data, healthcare providers can see reduced costs. And on a smaller scale, hospitals aim for the same efficiencies with electronic health records. And the cost control comes in as you don't need people to write certain things. You can get things done a lot faster. You can see the information ahead of you, or you can see the treatments that they got versus having to spend a whole bunch of time doing that analysis, reading stuff and things like that, right? So it's really the analytics that's really helping with the cost control, the understanding of the treatments and things like that. Now let's talk about some of the best practices for health information systems. And one of the biggest things is, you know, security. And security is the primary health information systems concern. And if you think about it, I understand why, because if you think about going to the hospital, that's a lot of information that you're giving them from your social to your birth date, to where you live, to your insurance, to where you work and all this other stuff, right? So security is a big concern and all networks are vulnerable, but healthcare providers are a desirable targets for cyber criminals. And the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, which is called HIPAA, or HEPA, however you want to dis, uh, pronounce it, it basically regulates the protection of individual healthcare information. And to help keep systems secure, companies should train their employees. They should encrypt the data. They should back up the data. They should monitor the usage. They should buy insurance. And they should make sure that, you know, obviously access and vendor vulnerability is, is secured. And they need to utilize uh, multi-factor authentication and things like that. And besides security, it's also useful to focus on the individual patients and the use of health information systems to increase convenience and to access, uh, increase access for patients. Um, you know, there's things like telehealth and things like that to make it convenient for patients. So convenience is another area that is a big focus for the healthcare information systems. And if you think about it, consumers these days, they have a high expectation for customer service, just like they do when they uh, are shopping in retail. The healthcare industry, uh, people are looking for good customer service as well too, and health information systems will allow for you to see those results into where you are going to or where you're choosing to um, you know, go for health uh, care needs. So guys, I hope you now understand how management information systems uh, impacts the healthcare industry 
It's not management information systems, it's called health information systems, but it is a part of management information systems. And as a management information systems major, if you wanted to get into the healthcare industry, you can certainly do that as well and work on health information systems, right? Management information systems is broad. You can go into, you know, all different industries and healthcare is certainly one of them that you should definitely consider. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, y'all, peace.